And hello everybody, welcome back to another quick video. So we're going to make this very short. So with Vindictus defying fate being right around the corner, I have went back on Vindictus to try to catch up in the story a little bit, increase my level, increase my attack and everything else. So after deciding that I got on the game and I've been dealing with performance problems. On my end, I have an RTX 4090 graphics card. And with an RTX 4090 graphics card, you should not be having any performance drops when it comes to any game you play. But unfortunately, Vindictus runs a very, very, very old engine. So I set out for probably a couple of days or so researching, doing my own tweaks and everything else to try to figure out a way to get, you know, better performance on this game. Because I have the GPU, I should be able to, you know, use it to its full capabilities and also have way over 100 frames when it comes to doing runs and everything else, right? So after searching, I finally, finally figured out a way on how to fix the performance. And I'm actually going to show you today. So a lot of people on this game use NVIDIA Inspector and I'm one of them. The reason I use NVIDIA Inspector on Vindictus is for one, it boosts the performance a tiny bit. And secondly, it fixes the visuals of the game to make it look better and on par with the newer generation games that we see nowadays. So, because of this game using very old engine, whenever you applied NVIDIA Inspector on Vindictus, it would only, and I mean only, be able to use around DX9. Now, with them updating the game, they have allowed the game to have DX11, but unfortunately, DX11's performance still runs kind of the same of how DX9's performance runs. And with using DX11, you're not able to use the NVIDIA um, Inspector Sentence, which you normally would be able to use on DX9. But today I've actually figured out that you can use DX10, and DX10 has better performance than DX11 or DX9. So in the description, um, I will have it there if you want to copy it and just apply it to your config files. But I'm going to show you exactly on how to get to your config files so you can set this up for yourself. Of course, if you want to tweak a couple of things like add a little bit of anti-aliasing, um, you can do that. But do know the anti-aliasing in this game is very bad and it's just going to drop your performance. So quickly before we get into everything, I want to show you my settings that I have um, in game. So these are the settings I'm running in game, model detail on high, texture detail on high, shadow detail on medium. You don't need to go past that. The more you go past that, it will start to cause problems for you when you're in runs. Um, physics effects have that on low, water effects have that on low, animation effects have that on low also. Dynamic shadows, you don't need this. Honestly, when you're playing, it does not matter. So have that on low. Lighting effects. Now, the thing about lighting effects is if you have it on low, the effects and everything completely turns off. But if you have it on medium, everything actually is activated and you'll see it. As you can see, you know, if you look at my character right here, you'll see the effects. The reason the effects are like this is because the lighting effects are on medium. Now, if we go back, you'll see here that my anti-aliasing is on none. You do not need anti-aliasing. The game's anti-aliasing is not that great, so you do not need that. Texture filtering. Now, you can go to 16, but honestly, 16 and uh, this here, it makes no difference. You don't need to have it at 16. You're just going to impact your performance more. And what we're trying to do is get performance, but make the game look visually beautiful. Um, of course, V-Sync, never have this on. Um, motion blur detail, always have that disabled. Multicore, have that enabled. Now, when you have this enabled in your config files, it will be set to one. You're going to want to set that to how much cores you have on your CPU since this game is CPU based instead of GPU based. You're going to want to set this, but I'm going to explain something a little bit more once we get into the config files. And then basically, texture streaming have that on disable if you have this on enable it will lower your performance i don't know why it it's supposed to not do that because it's supposed to only load in the textures that you see but because it's doing that i think it actually is using more performance because it's using more performance to just take away detail and apply detail and that's going to be a problem which you don't want to deal with 
colorblind mode disabled and of course when it comes to basically the party system particle effects have that on low effects have that on yourself only you don't need everybody's effects to be on it, honestly at the end of the day you should care about your effects not really how everybody else's effects looks and your hit effects have that on self only blood stain you can have that off and on it depends on your personal preference but i have it on because why not and basically every other effect you can see it right here just have those how i have them now when it comes to the character limit you can have this at max if you want but i've noticed whenever the game kicks you out of your channel and sends you all the way to channel one you start to lag a lot so in order to avoid that basically just have this around 10 to probably like 15 max you don't want it more than that because you don't need to see everybody it's not worth it most of the time you are going to be doing runs anyway and if you can avoid that lag that you get from having a whole bunch of people on your screen best to do that all right quick little input here before we continue the rest of this video um, for anybody who wants to know my inspector settings that I use for Vindictus, it is right here on the screen. I will zoom in. If you want to copy this, it is right there. These are the settings that you're going to want to run with NVIDIA Inspector. Um, going past this, it's not really worth it because you're going to be losing out on performance because Inspector is kind of demanding if you do not have the right settings. So it is right there. If you want to copy it, just pause the video and, you know, copy it to your own Inspector and then just get back on the game. So... Enough of me talking, let's get back into the video. So either way, um, now we're going to show you the config files. So I have now opened up my Steam um, location for Vindictus. If you're using an SSD or a terabyte, you will be able to find it wherever your Vindictus is uh, at. Now, if you don't know where your Vindictus is at, if you're on the Steam client, basically click your properties and find the direct location of where you downloaded it so once you do that it will bring this up so you can actually find it so find your file of where you have it set up to um since i have it set up to steam and i have it set up to my c drive which is my um main drive it would be in my program files and then in my steam and then in my steam apps and then once you get into steam apps you get into common you find out where vindictus is now vindictus is using the 64-bit um client so because it's using the 64-bit client on my end i would go for the 64 um client bin here so once you go into the bin you're going to click your config files now this is something that you're going to do every single time right whenever you're editing anything in this config file you're going to want to go into the properties of the config file i'm on windows 11 so it's a little bit different if you're on windows 8 or windows 10. i don't know about 7 7 7 is old but it's kind of the same so once you click the properties, you're going to click read only once you're done configuring this file. Make sure whenever you're done configuring this file, you have this set on. The reason for this is because every time you get on and off Vindictus, it will reset your sentence if you do not have this checked. So now that I've explained that, let's go into the config files. So as you can see, I will put this in the description. So y'all can just copy it and paste it there. These are exactly the sentence you want. Now, when it comes to multi-core, because I have a Ryzen 9, which is a 12 core, 24 thread processor, I can use all 12 cores of my processor. But if you have anything lower, let's say seven, six or four, you switch it to that. That's how you'll fix the performance. And also, this is very important, the DX level, make sure that it's set to 100. 100 is DX10, 95 is DX9, and also 1100 is DX11. That's how it's set up. Now, refresh rate down here, you can set that to whatever. It doesn't really matter that much, but I have it because when they did not have the 64-bit client where we had a frame rate on lock, this was a way to keep the frame rate stable at 60 so we wouldn't have to worry about it later on so once you do this just of course it's in the description like i said you're going to click file and you're going to click save once you do the save now you're going to click your config materials then you're going to click in your properties and then you're going to click read only and then once you get on the game bam you'll be able to have the performance that you want now as you can see i have my fps counter up there just so you can see it 
have it in a black bar there so it's actually being able to see more so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to hop into any raid that i can play because i have been playing for a bit and a lot of my raids are done for the day so we're going to hop into a normal let's say a normal dungeon that is that used to be a boss dungeon and we'll see the performance of what we get in that area so we're gonna do a quick little cut so you can actually see it for yourself okay we are now in um a dungeon here so this used to be a raid now quickly before we actually you know get into this i want to quickly say this real quick right here the screen width and screen height if you're playing at 1920 or 1080p just put 1920 by 1080 i'm playing at 1440 so my resolution or my width and height is 2560 by 1440 it goes all the way up to 4k and if you're playing ultra wide just put your ultra wide resolution in here so once you copy it and put it in the config file just switch it to your resolution of your monitor and just save it so I just wanted to say that because I know people are going to actually be confused about that, which it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty straightforward. But, you know, I just wanted to say that just so, you know, we don't have any problems later on. So as you can see, I am in this dungeon here, and this dungeon is not really as demanding as how the other ones are. But as you can see on the upper right, my FPS is at 160, which is very high for Vindicta standards. Now I'm going to get into the run. I'm just going to walk around. I'm not really going to attack the boss. I'm gonna let them do their damage. As you can see, I'm in this big area here and my FPS is still way above 120 FPS. And of course, this is by myself. Um, because we the settings we had earlier are turned off when there's a lot of people in the runs, you will not lose that much performance at all. You might not even lose any. And this is on my end because I have an RTX 1490, but if you have anything lower, you should get at least a good stable 95 to like 100 fps depending on the gpu that you have so if you have an rtx series or a gtx series you should be good so let's get into the, f the fight real quick i'm not gonna fight of course i'm actually going to leave after we walk around for a little bit just so you can see how everything is i'm gonna let i'm gonna let them do their effects and everything else i just want to see the bubble effect just so we can see it As you can see, FPS is still pretty high for this super demanding game. I mean, this super old game is what I should say. See, it's actually pretty high. You see the effects when he slams on the ground and you see his bubble effects. The FPS is still at a good, um, it's not a good amount. <laughs> I'm actually so focused on this game right now. But as you can see, the FPS is at like a hundred and something for me right now, which is very, very, very high. And of course, we have NVIDIA Inspector on the game and the effects are still there, which is the main reason as to why I actually did this video. And there you go, people. That is how you fix Vindictus performance problems. So hopefully this was helpful. Now, do know that, of course, I didn't show off the later on raids reasons for that is pretty obvious my character is not in a level up in level to actually do those raids just yet so i wasn't able to show them off i could have probably showed them off in a private but that's just going to take too long but as you can see the fps is very high and you can have the game looking really really great so like i said in the description just copy those link i mean copy those link just copy the wall of text and just add it to your config file and it should fix the performance for you when it comes to playing vindictus and also having the inspector sentence on the game so yeah um that is about it i am sick so my voice is not where i want it to be and it's annoying but it's just something i have to deal with for right now for a little bit so sorry if my voice just sounded not as great as how it normally does Anyway, that's it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hopefully this is helpful towards you. And with this, I hope you'll be able to, you know, get the FPS that you want in Vindictus. Anyway, that's it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.